Ivory Coast footballer Yakya Toure may be thinking of leaving Manchester City. His agent says he doesn't feel loved. Specifically, there was a lot of confusion about whether the club had given him a birthday cake or whether it had enough icing on it or something. When you're screwing them for a rumoured 200,000 a week, these things matter, apparently. Well, we gave Stephen Smith a packet of hobnobs for his birthday, which is why, with some alacrity, he deigned to consider demonstrations of affection in entertainment. Yeah. Hi. Hello, you were coming out of it. Not since Marie Antoinette did a Mary Berry and told the French to eat cake as a nice spot of sponge caused such a furore. I'm no master baker, but this looks like a gateau for Mr. Torre from his fond employers. Happy birthday to you. So is he trying to have his cake and, well, you know. Cake gate is the truth. Uh, this is a, a cake. Have we seen the cake? You know, has the footage been doctored? Uh, are City engaging in some sort of British Bake Off subterfuge? We, we, we don't really know. And frankly, you know, I won't believe that Kate was involved until they send me a piece. It, it, it's an extraordinary saga, isn't it? That a grown man, he's 31, he should have reached the age where he doesn't want to be reminded of his birthday, I would have thought. There's a suggestion linked to Torre's agent that he felt his cake wasn't a patch on the one the club's Middle Eastern owners enjoyed themselves. Football fans have already had to swallow the prawn cocktails wriggling into the game with corporate fine dining. Now this. It is very, very childish. I mean, if it was, if it was his mum and dad that had forgotten it, then it would be something. He's just made this perhaps just to get uh, the recognition he probably wants and deserves, really, because he's been a fantastic and crucial player for us this year. Of course, it's difficult for hard-working people like you and me to understand how highly strung prima donnas can attach such importance to a few fripperies. The problem is that when it comes to perks and sweetmeats, football's the new rock and roll. Classic Rider Demand was Van Halen uh, said that they wanted the promoter to provide bowls of M&Ms with the brown ones taken out, which is often taken as being an example of just capriciousness, but actually there's, there's method behind that apparent madness, because if a promoter is bothered enough to extract the brown M&Ms, he will also be bothered enough to provide the power supply that you've asked for, and the, the clean towels that you've asked for, and the proper access that you've asked for, and the security that you've asked for. As long as they're winners, like Yaya Toure, clubs will indulge their players and their agents, particularly as the summer transfer window opens. The Premier League is England's Hollywood, and I think that the power structures within it are very similar to Hollywood, where the whole kind of pressure it comes from the talent. So the money comes into the game in huge amounts and is required to draw talent. Talent recognises that and therefore plays all sorts of games to ensure that it gets more of that. Fans might wonder at the hissy fits, but if Torre stays with the champions this summer, what are the odds that season tickets will sell like very popular things?